Contrasting Learning Environments for Corey Cox EDL 955. Uh, first off, I want to start off with the description of the learning environment. We're going to do student services at my high school in Blue Valley. Um, the entrance of student services has big windows that let in natural light. Um, it's a big office space, and in the back there are three tables, three computers for students to complete work and work on other assignments. Um, there's office space for a conference room, which hosts 504 meetings, IEP meetings, and then a weekly counselors meeting. There are also 11 additional offices or individual offices for counselors, admin, and the school psychologist. My office is in there. Um, my office is a smaller room. It has one window that goes out into a hallway. It provides a more private environment for counseling sessions, meeting with meetings with parents, um, and college prep activities. It's easy, easily accessible to all students, but far enough away from the front entrance to protect confidentiality for students. So they can come to my office and not have the fear that their friend saw them going into the uh, counselor's office. Uh, again, following the descriptions of the learning environment, I've attached some pictures. Uh, this picture right up here in the top shows um, the entrance into student services. This right here is a hallway that leads through. There's a copier, mailboxes, um, just another entrance to get back to the back area. This picture right here shows um, the tables where students can work that, again, is in the back of student services, so it's not out in front, so students have the privacy that they need. Um, here's one of the hallways that lead from the front entrance back to the counseling offices. And then here's another angle. Um, there's a hallway that wraps around, and this is from the back side. Um, the theory behind the learning environment of student services, student services is centrally located in the school, which provides access to students um, for academic development, career development, and social emotional development. Um, in student services, they have access to counselors, administrators, the school psych, our registrar, and our school social worker. So it's kind of a one-stop uh, shop for anything that a student could possibly need. My office, again, is located in the back of student services to provide a more private environment, free from distractions. It allows students to feel comfortable and share their thoughts and feelings without the fear of their peers seeing them. Um, it also creates a trusting environment. It's you know, it's not too small, but it's not too big, so it's kind of got a cozy uh, feel to it. And it really allows students to open up and feel comfortable, um, which goes a long way in the counseling field of building that trusting relationship. Uh, again, pictures. As you see with this picture at the very top left, this is the main entrance. On the wall, it has um, a list of all of our seniors, and there's strings that show which colleges uh, these students are going to. It also gives you a hallway to go right to the administrator's office, or you can go left, and they all meet in the back um, of student services, so you can get to any office either way you go. Here's a picture of my office on the right. Again, it's a smaller field. There's not a lot of windows. There's one window in this back corner. It, gives an element of privacy and confidentiality. Safety within the learning environment. Student services, like the text states, our number one concern is always to ensure the safety of our students and our faculty um, and anyone who uses our facilities, parents, teachers, uh, guests of the school, anything like that, our safety is our number one concern. Um, and all aspects of our school, and that includes student services, are up to codes. Locks, cameras, fireproof file cabinets, um, ventilation, air quality, all of that stuff that our school keeps up to code is up to code in student services. Again, my office offers the same level of security as student services, um, just on a smaller scale. Where my office differs, or office differs, is in the sense that we don't have security cameras, we don't have, um, you know, a lot of windows. It goes back to the major component of my job is 
privacy and confidentiality and I want my students to feel safe when they are in student services. Uh, again, here's some pictures of student services. This is the office conference room that was mentioned earlier. There's a TV. They have interviews. They have Skype meetings with parents if they're not able to attend the 504 process. And then there's a big conference table. Here's a private entrance and exit to student services. So again, going back to the confidentiality and safety concerns, say we have a student who we're concerned about their safety we can have them leave through the back of student services without drawing attention to themselves. Or we can have them enter from there if they're coming in for a reintegration meeting and we don't want the other students to know that they're in the building. Uh, we offer, um, again, access back to the privacy and um, safety of our students. All of our offices are tucked in the back of student services. And down at the bottom is a picture of my office, um, two chairs, Again, a smaller environment which allows students to feel more comfortable. Uh, the use of natural light in student services. The main entrance uh, to student services has big windows that, that let in light. Um, it provides a warm, welcoming environment. You're actually able to see what the seasons are doing and what the weather's doing outside. And you don't feel like you're trapped in a building all day when you're out in front. Unfortunately, my office does not have natural light and student services since it's centrally located in the hall or in the school. My office window looks out into a hallway, so I do not have natural light. Um, I will tell you that my day to day operations would be more enjoyable if I could see outside and stuff. So there might be a time when I get to the school and it's dark outside and then I leave and it's dark outside. So natural light in my office would be nice, but just the way our school is set up, it's not able to happen. Here's a picture of student services. You can see the natural light being let in, and then in my office you see there's no natural light. Wall space, um, we hang information in student services that pertain to students on the walls, bell schedule, college information, college penance of where our students have gone, and the map in the front of student services where our students are going. Uh, my office has similar information on the wall. Again, it's not as, it's more personal to me. There's family pictures. There's things that really describe me, so it gives the students a sense of who I am. Uh, you can see up here, there's the pennants on the wall, some artwork, and just some information that apply to students. In my office, I have a picture of the girls' basketball team because I coach, the bell schedule, in this picture, I have some pictures of my family, a football helmet, a K-State uh, pennant, and then a Mustang logo, and then when our study halls are. So just a wide variety of all the topics that help our students. The amount of student space compared to the educator. Student services, have, the students have adequate space in student services for a variety of different activities. They have space to decompress, reflect on the events of today. They also have a place to get work caught up. If we have a student who's out for a week and they need to get some work made up, they can hang out in student services and work on assignments. They have space to lay stuff out and do a bunch of different uh, tasks. My office, I have enough space to conduct meetings, counseling sessions, college prep programs, and any other tasks that may come up or fall in my job description. Again, here's a picture of student services a big space, open space that students can work, and then a picture of my office again. Uh, as far as standards, PSEL 5D to promote student, peer, and school community relationships that value the support of academic learning and positive social emotional development. That, that standard pretty much summarizes student services. We want to provide our students with any opportunity that they need to be successful and any um, possible uh, interventions that we can put in place we have in student services. And then PSEL 5E, cultivate and reinforce student engagement with school and positive student conduct. That's more from my office. We want to make sure that our students are getting those positive engagements with students and make sure that they're living up to the standards and uh, expectations that we've set at our high school. Again, Thanks, and I uh, look forward to another uh, interview and presentation.